Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Munich. I'm a board certified dermatologist and today we're going to be talking about using Voluma in the tear troughs. Traditionally, Voluma was used in the cheeks for a deeper fill. We use it in the mid-face. However, there was a plastic surgeon who did research showing that Voluma in the tear troughs is an amazing tool and we're going to showcase that today. Okay. So we're going to go in this area, which is where we did the initial aliquot of Voluma. Tiny little poke, one, two, poke, ouch. You okay? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too zingy. This is just a little space to introduce the cannula. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to give that to Dr. Meeks. Thank you so much. Put that in here. Beautiful. I'm going to go this way. Tiny little book. That's it. We're in. Just gently, gently, we're going this way. A little retrograde. Just to, that feels great. There we go. And then we're going to put the rest right in here. Okay, like that. So really, should not have a lot of bruising, should not be painful at all. Great. Which is the key. One, two, three, poke, 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 ouch, poke. You okay? Mm -hmm. So this just makes it just, just a tiny little hole. Okay, do that. Let me take this. Let me see that tiny little hole. This is where the cano is going to go. Okay. And just little retrograde threads. Perfect. That's all we need to do. So barely any marks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rub, roll this. Let's see, we have a little bit of product right there. We poke, ouch, poke. We're going all the way to the bone. Poke, ouch, you okay? Mm -hmm. And then the nice thing about the HAs is you can gently and slowly aspirate, and you can see that there's a little bubble there. Right there at the tip, waiting for the bubble. Yep, cute little bubble. And that means we're not in a vessel. So now I can go ahead and inject just a little bit of product. And this Voluma has lidocaine, so I'm going to go through this area to use the cannula as well. So just a little bit. So I love volumizing. This is an important area of the face. It also keeps this geometry, and it, it pulls here. So you don't need as much filler here when you're augmenting the cheek. It's just going to rejuvenate that cheek, and that's where I'm going to go for the, for the cannula. So I'll do that on this side too. So really fairly painless, would you agree? Mm -hmm. And then we're heading this way. We're going around things, not going through them. You can see there's the there's the tip of the cannula. So just slowly, slowly augment the cheek this way. That looks good. Just put a little bit into the tear trough, so just very slowly. And what I love to do is you can use a cotton tip applicator. You can also just gently mold the product. So I'm just kind of working that in very delicately. Okay, I'm going to come up just a little bit. It just feels weird as I pull on your cheek. Doing okay? I'm fine. It should be fairly comfortable. Yeah. There we are. Okay, one more and we're done. Okay. Mm 
go right there. So we're going to come in just a little bit more. Beautiful. And just, this is less is more. Slowly, slowly. This should not hurt. Mm -mm. I should not feel any pain with this at all. Here we are, right at the tip, right there. Just a little retrograde injection, and that's all we need. I'm going to smooth that out by rolling. Cotton tip applicator, I'll have you hold that. And there's our product. So that will lay down just beautifully right in that groove. That looks so good. And I tend not to overfill. I know some people get carried away. I end up looking a little buggy. <laughs> it's not a good look. We want very no natural. Bugs. No bugs. We want a natural look here. Just a little rejuvenated. This is one of the fat pads that we tend to anatomically lose over time. We're just augmenting that. It's a very nice and smooth look, and it doesn't look like we did anything. Perfect.